the uh, other situation is in a facelift, for example. I've seen a lot of patients who I've said, I, I don't think you're a good candidate for surgery. And a lot of these patients, it's because they're not good uh, surgical candidates, for, candidates from a medical standpoint. For example, they have medical conditions uh, that wouldn't lend themselves to proper healing or uh, even uh, proper uh, proper results. For example, if someone's on a blood thinner and they can't go off of a blood thinner, then it's not, uh, I wouldn't recommend having a facelift, which could lead to significant um, issues in the immediate post-operative period. So those patients, I really uh, try to discourage them from having a, a surgical intervention. Uh, then there are uh, other patients that have other medical issues uh, for which they can't undergo general anesthesia and they can't even tolerate local anesthesia. And in those patients, again, I give them non-surgical options such as all therapy or radiofrequency tightening of the skin. Uh, other patients that I either uh, have either advise them not to have surgery or just ask them to postpone surgery for is if someone's had recent laser treatment to the area that's going to be operated on and I, what, but I, what I mean by recent is within the past uh, a few months. So I always do a thorough history as to when uh, when they've had a, a laser treatment because a lot of times what laser does is thin the skin um, so that they don't have optimal healing after a surgical procedure. So it's good to put some time in between a laser treatment and uh, subsequent surgery. Then the other uh, thing that I look for is if there are any emotional stressors around the time of surgery. For example, I've had um, patients who've had a spouse that was diagnosed with something or a family member that is uh, having recent surgery for another reason, I always tell them to think about the sur their own surgery and perhaps postpone it to a time when there isn't so much emotional stress in their life because any of these elective surgeries, they're still surgeries, and there it does take an emotional toll on you for a few days at least. So it's good to be surrounded with good emotional support and uh, and be able to heal yourself in the proper way. So if it sounds like there's a lot going on in their lives, I tell them, you know, take a month off if you can uh, in terms of scheduling surgery. Take a month to think about it and then schedule your surgery at a time when it's no, not so uh, stressful in your life.